Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero, one of one, back again. We are back on Vulcan, uh, playing Stationeers, and uh, we need a little bit of power maybe? I mean, probably not yet, but... Also, is this still fluctuating with power? I know we were having an issue with power the last time, so... And that thing is currently cooling because I left that open. That's fine. Um, so we were having an issue, right? <clears throat> Where this thing was not, had no power, right? Even though everything is still, you know, technically connected. And this is all connected here. So it's like, I don't understand what the issue is, but I think I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart, take down all of the cable and then replace it all. And then maybe that'll make it work. But I have no idea. Because the only reason why there wouldn't be any power going in here right now is if something in here was broken. But, I mean, just looking at it, nothing is broken, so it's like, I, I don't know. And I think I said I was going to work on this after, or off camera, but um, I decided to go for a walk instead. So, eh, it's the next day now. Okay. So that will go here. I'm just going to redo pretty much all of this. Close this and then, okay, so now this is doing a weird thing again where it's, where I have no power. It's like, wh wh why, why? Like, why, why am I missing power now? <laughs> like, what's going on? <sighs> Annoying. All right. Um, and it's not going to let me take that out or pry it open because it's locked. Um, and I can't adjust this thing because there's no power. So that's fun. <sighs> All right. There we go. So, yeah, so this whole thing just lost power. Even though we have power. Like something just, something is not right somewhere and I don't know where and I don't know why, but it's not right. <sighs> okay. So I was using a light um, to sort of check to see if there's power in there. Um, <clears throat> there is another way to do it, and that's to get the uh, the networking card, which that's the gas display. That's not it. Um, but yeah, you can look at a wire with a networking card, and it'll tell you kind of like some details about it. Yeah, see, so we have power here, so I don't I don't understand what the what the deal is. Except we don't have power here. What the, what is going on? I don't get it. Um, well, that doesn't go anywhere because it can't go anywhere. Yeah, I seem like, and that's blinking. So it's like, what's, what's the deal here? That's okay, but this is fine. Um, 
Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's see, that is going into the room over there. Okay. in here. Okay, so that is going to have to stay closed. It's fine. I don't plan on going outside anytime soon. So There's another one here. Not one there. Okay. So this is. Okay, get off of the ladder, please. Okay, so that was being used to power that. All right. We can run that off of something else. Um, okay. Yeah, so like, what's the deal here? It doesn't look like anything is broken here. Except these, apparently, don't have power. I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. Um... <clears throat> Now the question is, without power, can I even get in here? Apparently I can. Okay, I, I really don't understand what's going on. Okay. That's now emptied. You see how long that lasts? Like, it's been a while. I've been eating off of that for a, a little while now. Um, Alright, so let's take a shower real quick. Okay, we got half a liter in there. Okay, um, so, oh, right, wait, what, what, oh, it actually is low, okay. So I'm thinking of finding a way to sort of split up the load here. Um, so that way we'll have two main lines. Um, so we could probably start splitting off from this side. So we could take out pretty much all, no, that has to go downstairs. Um, so we'll probably start splitting it from here. Because this is for everything downstairs. And we want to keep that kind of where it is, right? And then this is a three-way corner, so I'm assuming that's going down. Why is that blinking? I don't... 
I mean, that should be powering everything, including the door, which means that that should not be blinking at all. It should just be staying on. Then these things still, oh wait, no, they're not on. Okay, so that's on. These are not though, and they should be directly powered off of this line. So what is the deal here? understand um, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this over to the wall and then everything that way will be fed off of these three batteries over on this side okay so that's that um, and then everything over here will be fed from here. So we need to get rid of this, or technically just that, if I can get to it. Sir, why do you not let me? Why? Okay, fine. Unless I can just kind of cheese it a little bit. I've seen a So then if this is actually powering everything over there, then I don't technically need this here. <sighs> okay, um, so let me take this thing off. It's not getting any power anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, all right, so that'll be the main feed going this way. And then this, I wanted to get rid of that, um, not expand it. So let's get rid of this, this. And then this thing, sir. What? Why is this being stupid? All right, whatever, it's fine. Okay, so then that can go over there and then this can go over here power kind of all of this stuff. All right. So that should go over there. And then this, I suppose, we can take out. It's not letting me take it out. this main power down the side here because I do have that ladder in the way and I can't run a cable through the ladder unfortunately so if I run it over here That will then get all of this to be powered. Okay, is that doing a thing? Okay, that's doing a thing, good. All right. Okay, so that can go over there and then these can actually be disconnected through here. 
Although I would like to have like a switch or something. Um, I don't know if that's something I can do though, or if they have anything like that, probably not. No, just a logic switch, okay. Um, that would be useful if we had that. It's what they use on uh, actual real life. Um, I mean, we call them feeders, but uh, electrical circuits, but like large scale. Um, so this is like the stuff that feeds your home, you're part of a circuit. And so we have multiple circuits that go through like a city or town or whatever. And when we get an outage on one circuit, we can bridge it with a switch from a different circuit. So that way, you know, that circuit can then also provide power for this other circuit. Then everyone can stay in power while we fix the issue. And like the whole network is like a series, like a very, very complicated series of circuits. Um, and there's switching between everything. I mean, we've got like switching at substations, which you can do, but then there's also switching just out in the field that you can use as well. Um, I mean, I work with in the electrical utility industry, so that's why I know all this stuff. Um, but yeah, it would be nice if they had something like that here, but I don't think they do. I mean, you could use a transformer technically like that, but that's not the same. And it'd be just like, like a logic switch, right? Just for power. I think the logic switch would blow up. So like, like this thing, right? So if I made that, and actually let's just look this up. So logic switch. So like this lever, right? You leave it open. When you want to bridge two circuits, you close it, right? But um, I don't think it works because this just outputs a uh, a data signal, not like a power signal, so it wouldn't it wouldn't work for that. But I don't know. I don't think we've got anything in here like that. Um, but then again, I don't think this game is really expecting you to build that big to where you would actually need it. I mean, I could use a fuse, right? And then put the fuse in between there. But I would need to be able to remove the fuse. I don't think that's something you can do. No, because I think that it just sits on top of a cable. I don't think it actually creates an opening between the cable. Oh, hey, there's a lot more uh, heavy cables right there. That's cool. Yeah, so I think this has to go on top of a cable. It can't be like its own thing. And then that would just, you know, make that break there. But I suppose having some fuses on here probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So if it's green, I'm assuming that's good. And then if it breaks, you know, then we'll know that it's not good. So I'm gonna make another fuse. So if there is like a power outage or something, like I'll know. Oh, right, I was supposed to adjust that thing, wasn't I? Whoops. Oh well, it's fine. Um, and then we'll put this one over here. Oh. Well, that's an issue. We're pulling too much power over here. All right, so that's probably why there is the issue. Okay. See, fuses. They're very, very useful things. They're designed to be destroyed. I mean, that is like their entire purpose, but when they are destroyed, you'll know where the problem is. All right, I'm gonna put that back and see if we're still drawing too much power. Yep, okay. Um, okay, so then we need to split off more of the load here. Um, let's see, so that's going down into the basement, right? So if I... 
If I took all of this and I put it on that loop, that would require me taking out this piece right here. Okay, why do you not let me take that out, sir? Why must I do that? All right. And then uh, let's see, we can run this over to here. So that'll bring that back on. No, now it just blew that side up. What the hell? Okay, so something in the basement is using up too much power which means we should probably give this its own power station down here. Um, we do have the green line already down here, so it wouldn't be that hard to do that. Um, yeah, so we've got the green line right there. Um, don't know exactly where we're going to put it. So we've got something faulting somewhere, which, you know, fine. Um, okay, so we've got everything back on, at least technically. But that is probably the reason why this was not working. This is going to have to be like that. OK, so that's on, solid on. And then we'll have to run that back through. Um, OK, and then uh, we're going to need a transformer over here for this whole thing. And then we can run this like that, I guess. OK. And then this has to get somehow down here. Is that even going to work? Uh oh, uh, I could move this up, and then I'd have access down there. Um, and it would be nice to have this actually on a normal airlock, but I suppose it's fine for now. OK, so that can go. Right. Apparently this has been damaged, so I can't replace it even if I wanted to. There, are you happy now? Stupid. All right, whatever, it's fine. Placement requires support. Yes, I can put, what, the, okay. I have to get rid of the ladder, because the ladder doesn't want things to work. OK, can I put this down now? All right. Airlock. Um, That can go there, and that shouldn't need to be reset. And this doesn't need much power. Yep, okay. And then we can reset our ladder on here. Good to go, all right. 
So that is now doing a thing. All right. All right, so then uh, if I want to put, and I need to turn the Sterling Room back on, um, unless the Sterling Room is already, already on, which it is not. All right. All right, 800 kilopascals in there. That's pretty cool. It should give us some amount of power. That one's not spinning though. It's fine. Okay, so let's make a large battery bank um, for the basement. And we'll put it where I have the uh, large transformer. So, uh, large battery, there we go. We could probably make two of these, to be honest. Actually, hold on. Let me actually set that to two. Oh, export count is already at three. Um, hang on. Export count is still at three. which means that that's not gonna match up properly. So if I take that out, does that reset the export count? Yes, okay. So that'll be fine. All right, so that'll make me two batteries. And then I've gotta get all of that set up. So that'll be fun. Um, is this still processing water? Okay, so I already took all the water out. All right, good to go. Uh, how are you doing? You got nothing in there. You have 2.28 megapascals. Okay, do I need more water? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Now, let's get this back. And then I don't know how that has to be over there. Um, I do know that I need my door back in over here. Okay. So that is now doing a thing. Um, I should probably put the window back in there. It's probably really, really hot in here right now. And it's cooling down in here. Okay. Now, uh, that is coming through here, and we need to go down and over. So that'll be a three way corner. Okay, and then uh, we'll put this back onto here just to make sure the light works. Hey, all right, so we have power. All right, so splitting up the load did seem to help. So I think we were just overloaded. All right, and now I can start pulling this to a vacuum. 
Hopefully that's not going to break anything. I don't think it will. Alright, so we'll just leave that going for a while. Um, I probably should be running that off of these batteries, but... Meh. Well, no, because we want... We actually do want this to be run off of that system there. In case these die completely, if this is run off of these and they're dead, then there's no power, so I won't be able to fix any kind of massive issues here. All right, so we'll leave that going for a while. Um, power's working. So splitting up the circuits did seem to help out. Um, now we just gotta make sure that the batteries remain charged. I should probably put in another battery over there. So we have two banks of four, you know? But I should, uh, yeah, let me just do that. Cause I know it has to be done, so we might as well just do it, right? I like having the bolts up, as you can tell. Does it need to be that way? No, it does not, but it's nice. Um, all right, uh, what do I need? I need welding torch and four steel sheets. I think I can manage that. Well, that uses up a lot of power, dude. And then electronic parts, I need two of them. Let's make those. Should make two, right? Why did it only make one? Whatever. I, I don't know what's going on. Things are weird, but it's fine. All right. Need a screwdriver as well, and I need to make another battery, so let's do that. Large. What does that need? Gold? Oh, I ran out of gold, that's why I didn't make the other ones. Um, that's fine. Uh, let me get this battery up and running first. Turn it on, there we go. Getting some charge, excellent. All right, so now we got four banks or sorry, two banks of four. And we need some gold. Get like a hundred. Oh, there's no gold in there. Uh oh. No, don't do that. go. Alright, so that should give me one stack, hopefully. There we go. Turn that off. Alright. Okay, good to go. Um, so that's fun. Um, does that need to be on? Probably not. Oh, that's been on this entire time too. Great. It's fine though. 
Okay, so. Fun times, right? All right, so that is getting some charge. Um, let's see, and then uh, I need to get, yeah, the other battery to go downstairs. And that's also going to be set up to our charging line as well. So I should probably start working on getting that going. Um, I'm going to need more heavy cable though, which I don't have at the moment. Uh, okay. But I mean, so long as like this room is doing what it needs to be doing, like I'm good. We're down to 23 kilopascals in here. At the door anyways, a little less over here. But yeah, so it is slowly pulling out, so that's good. And then uh, we've got these batteries over here, which should be charging technically, but it's fine. Um, okay, and then I'll need to put some sort of power generation over here too. Hmm. And then I'm going to need to start filling up this entire space with CO2, so that's going to be fun. It's going to take a very long time. But I think we have to pull it to a vacuum first, and then we can start working on everything else. Um, the CO2 we can pull directly from the atmosphere. Um, that should be just fine. Uh, this has an issue. Why? Memory outs. Oh, because that's over here now, and it is no longer on this circuit. And that isn't working either, because that needs to look at what's over there. So both of these, technically, need to be pulling from a different circuit. Um, OK. How does one fix that? Um, I mean, we have this. Uh, also, shouldn't that be on? How much pressure is in this pipe right now? Oh, just 40 megapascals. Okay, so um, these two things right here need to be moved. Um, so mem outside temp, and that's also being set by this thing. So we still have to be connected into this circuit, just, you know, from a different side. Uh, okay, so mem outside temp, all one word, all right. Outside temp. Okay. And then this is called just logic writer. Okay, that's boring. And then this is writing digital valve CO2. Right. And it's taking in from mem CO2 pressure. All right. Actually, doesn't this have to go the other way? Yeah, it does. Okay. So then this should probably re be replaced. Because this has to go that way. And then this can be placed right behind it. All right. Um, so let's get this all connected here. And 
And then both of these are going to go, which I could just have this one go over to here and then have that one be like that. So we're going to need a mem outside temp. Mem outside temp. Confirm. Now, did that throw an error in here? It did. OK. Right. Now you don't want to work. Why? Did I break this thing again? Come on. What is going on? Why? This is annoying. Why are we blinking again? <sighs> okay, well that's doing a thing, so okay. <sighs> this is very annoying. That has to be a writer, not a reader. Okay, so that takes in from CO2 pressure. We're putting this out to the CO2 valve. Digital valve, CO2, and that'll be lock setting on. I think that goes to there. Of course, there's no power here, so... I don't, I don't understand this crap. That one is fine, this one apparently is not. And why can't I take that out, dude? Come on. Shouldn't have to do this just to take that out. All right. Power issues, man. All right. Does anything in the basement need to be on right now? I don't think so. I'm not cooling anything. You know, so let's just go over here, turn this whole thing off. Okay, now that whole thing up there is blinking. What the? I don't get it, dude. No, it's that wasn't even enough right there. It's still. is on right now that does not need to be on. Okay, so this thing needs to be reset as well. Uh, 
What is this thing supposed to be? Oh, um, I have to tell it to read the setting. Okay, and then that will write that to, so it's reading from that and it's writing to the memory greenhouse outside temp, which is what it's using to control all of that. So that's why that had to be on. Okay, so that is working. Our greenhouse should be working. We don't have any light up there though, so that makes me think that that is not working. I have a feeling that we're pulling too much power over here. I don't... I don't understand. Because we're not actually running all that much on all of this. I mean, granted, all of this is supposed to be running on this and that has no power still we have zero power in here apparently okay now I have some power in here again So that's blinking now. And that's maxed out. Okay. Okay, so that should be pulling from this side. So how much are you being pulled actually? It is charging. This is why I need graphs, man. <sighs> okay. Okay, so that's got power. This is blinking. That has power, which is good. some electronic parts, uh, two of them. Let's see if this thing actually works. Nope, it only made one. <sighs> okay. Oh, because I'm out of iron. Okay, well, let's make some iron. Um, we'll just do like a hundred. whole thing is just blinking right now. Get this thing going. I need some. There we go. Why did that not make another one? <sighs> Power issues, man. 
And apparently I'm dying because I have no water. It looks like the state of charge on these things has not changed. It's not great. Um, did something break in the Sterling room? That would be unfortunate. Oh, right, because I have no power, so I can't actually run anything. That makes sense. Okay. That's why I need to build this thing. <sighs> okay, so this thing... I don't wait no that's my drill I still need my drill I don't need this okay this over here. So that's not going to do anything right now because we have no power going to it. So we need to get our green line reconnected. Well, not reconnected because it was never connected in the first place, but we need to get it connected. All right. I can get. All right. Oh, and I can't get in here because I don't have power. It's going to be a problem. Um, and I can't adjust this thing because, again, these things are locked. Uh, okay, um, well, oh, yep, that blew up, okay. So that's not good. Um, sir, can you just, why are you pushing me away?
Can I get down into that corner? So if I can get that green line connected, then I don't have to worry about, you know, getting power down there somehow, because the recharge line should throw a little bit of juice into the battery. I don't know if it'll be enough juice, but it should be some, and I can't actually get in here because of that pipe. Okay, can I get in here? Can I get into here? I cannot. Why? I just I need to make that connection. I can't do it with this thing in the way. Um, and I, there's a lot of pressure in there, and I don't want to just let that out right now. It's like, it's so close. It's just right, right over there. And I can't do anything with it. All right, uh, what, how much pressure do I have inside this big freaking tank? Almost a megapascal. All right, well, here goes nothing. All this to make a single wired connection. This is stupid. But whatever, it's fine. I have nothing going in there. What do you mean? And then if that pipe bursts right there, that means that the entire atmosphere inside of there is now contaminated. So that's fun. Oh, hey, it's uh, just blowing stuff in there. That's cool. Uh, can I fix it from here? It's um, a good question. Um, I'm gonna say that's probably a no. Okay. How about now? And there's a storm out there now. Oh, and that one blew up too. Well, that's... that's not good. But we have power. A little bit of power anyways. This is gonna be a nightmare in here. That blew up too, so that's fun. And that's not gonna go anywhere because there's no tank to go into, so it's gonna blow up again. That's fun. Come on. Uh, do I have insulated pipes down here? I do. All right, so I can run these, or finish running them through here. It's always gonna be the plan anyways, so. All right, let's paint them quickly. Brown, do I even, sir? Not enough paint. Okay, that's cool.
Okay. We're to look into the pipe here. Okay, why is that pressure going up? Why is it not going out here? Is it because this is oh too much too much pressure in there. That's probably why. Um, okay, so I need that to not be terrible. So that has dropped back down. This has also dropped back down. Okay, good. Atmosphere in here is... Got a lot of crap in here, fortunately. But it's fine. All right, so this is now working again, sort of, anyways. So hopefully that'll get us some power, which we need. Um, is there anything else I need to do in here, like other than like repair these things properly? It's fine. Not even gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it, nope. So with this, oh hey, we have a lot of power in here. That's nice. Um, are we going to be decent? Do I need that? I don't think I need that. Do I need this? Probably not. I don't know. I'll hold on to it. All right. Um, let's see what our batteries are like up here. Okay, they have lots of charge on there now, so that's good. Ah, <sighs> okay. So that means that this could probably get turned off um, because we don't have all that much in here. I'd like to have more pressure in there, like 20 megapascals, because that would be amazing. And that would give us a lot of power for a long time too, so that would be good. Uh, okay, so are we solid now with all of this, now that I've split all of the power into three different circuits? Let's be honest, probably not, but whatever. So let's hope that that is good for now. Um, all right, uh, nope, need you open, need you open. You can go there. I don't think we have any blinking going on, so that's good. Uh, this can all come out. I mean, I'm going to be having the cable that are still in the floor there. They're still going to be there, but, you know, it'll be fine. Um, okay, so that should be, all of this should be working just fine. This is keeping track of our temperature outside, good. That looks like it didn't need any help to begin with, but that's fine. All right. 
<sighs> Are we good now? All right, so I have these four batteries on the circuit that is powering um, our greenhouse, our manufacturing, and uh, this part of our water, as well as everything back there. And then I have these four batteries right here, powering um, this airlock, everything that's gonna be going into there. This section here is all gonna be powered by that, our living area, and this whole section here. So this is a huge power draw right here, and then over here, I don't think we're really drawing that much power anywhere, except for maybe with the, the miners back there. All right, and Heston Knighty just subscribed. Well, that's nice. Uh, welcome to the club. All right, so now that that is maybe possibly good to go. And cover up all this again. Are you kidding me, dude? Cannot do this while it is damaged. How did it get damaged? There's nothing there to damage it. I don't, I don't understand. But whatever. You wanted it, you got it. Are you also damaged? No, it was just that one that was damaged. Good, because that makes perfect sense, right? Now, um, if I put a fuse back on there, I wonder if it'll break. And I'm out of steel sheets. Um, all right, so I want, I don't know, like 10. Okay, the power's not shorting out, so that's good. So to make sure that this thing actually makes everything it needs to and stops. Okay, good. It looks like that is still functioning somewhat. Okay. Why why are these damaged? That makes no sense. Well, now they're not damaged. Okay, so there's that. Everything is basically buttoned back up. That is now working again. I think everything else is doing what it needs to do, so that's good. Um, and to be honest, I have no idea how much power this is using, if it's using any at all. Probably to run that and that, and that's about it, right? Huh. Anyways, uh, that is probably going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And that's a nuclear battery, and I'm low, dude. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so uh, if you did, uh, come and join me for the next one. But for now, have a good one.